All right, folks, Pebble Beach. You've dreamt about it since you were a kid, and now we're here. Welcome to Pebble Beach, huh? Awesome. Nice Holy time. moly. All right, folks, it is time. Welcome back, everybody. It's time to dust off those clubs and gather around as we embark on yet another thrilling chapter of the Breaking series. This time, we are gracing the grounds of the illustrious, the known, the infamous, the dreamlike Pebble Beach. It's a course that is woven deeply into the tapestry of golf history. Perched above California's rugged coastline, Pebble Beach isn't just a golf course. Let's face it, ladies and gentlemen, it is an experience. For over a century, the world's best have made their mark here. Back in 1972 with Jack all the way to Tiger in 2000, Pebble has hosted over a dozen USGA championships since its birth in 1919. Thank you to the USGA for having us out this year. Today, despite the prevailing wind, it is time to carve out our own piece of history. As we challenge ourselves on this grand stage, let's take a moment to meet our players. First off, Mike Pamapatura, hailing from Ontario, Canada. A two handicap golfer who swapped his golf clubs for a pizza oven, but is now back to claim his glory, and he's aiming to break 77. Next up, meet Aaron Tuning, representing Atlanta, Georgia. Known as one of the funniest men in golf, Aaron's here with an eight handicap and an unshakable resolve to break 90. Justin Chastain is a 17 handicap from North Carolina, a self-described go-with-the-flow golfer. Justin is ready to embrace golf's highs and lows while attempting to break 100. And last, but certainly not least, it's me. Shocking. <laughs> That's right. I'll be teeing it up alongside Mikey, Aaron, and Justin for a bare-knuckled rematch. And this time, I'm not going down without a fight. All right, so prepare yourselves. Sit down, grab a coffee, grab a drink, turn off the vacuum, get the popcorn out of the microwave, start defrosting the ice cream because you don't want it to be too cold, and get ready to embark with us on a three-part journey through pristine fairways and rugged coastlines to find out who breaks pebble. And who gets broken? It's funny that like golf has the ability to like make you feel so many things. <laughs> you know? That is true. Bucket list golf experiences. I mean, you were washing your clubs in the sink about ten minutes ago. I was. I there's an extra layer of not wanting to embarrass myself in front of the caddy. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah. He's seen all kinds of stuff, but I'm like, if I hand him a dirty club, he's gonna think I'm stupid. <laughs> it's tough to explain. It's kind of got the goosebumps just <laughs> driving up to it now. There's like several YouTube videos of like, you know, Tiger's like perfection at Pebble, whenever he won like the 2000 US Open. And then you've got like uh, the old like Shell's Wonderful World of Golf with yeah. Jack Nicholson, and Sam Snead. And you've got the iconic like chip in from Tom Watson. Just all kind of, and, and like, we get to experience that. Like, we get to be on that same course. Oh my gosh. This is, that's surreal. I'm just seeing that. It's not the prettiest thing I've ever seen or anything. I'm not thinking about everyone who's ever played here and won here and everything it's hosted. I'm not thinking about that at all. Just golf course. Okay, man. Tea time, two o'clock. Pebble Beach. Don't shake it. My back cracked like maybe once or twice, but other than that, hey, not too, not too shabby so far. I've only sculled one. I'm really excited. It's like, kind of like I'm just along for the ride, you know? We're all just gonna go out there together. <laughs> got a gift here. Something new, something no one's ever seen. We've got some new bag tags. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. And we've even kept your original numbers here. There we go. I think that's cool. That's oh awesome. my gosh. Unfortunately, Aaron, you're 4838. It's the first one we could get. Wow, top 5,000. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. Awesome. Cool. So that's what our thing is all about, about creating a membership, creating a community, creating a, a way to play golf that's a little different than the generation before. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to be playing this course from 6,800 yards. All right, and we're starting on the 10th hole, which is a bit unusual, but hey, we're here and we're excited. So thanks for coming to the channel. Thanks for watching the show. Oh man. <laughs> 
Let's go. Oh, this could not be better. This could not be better. Next up. All right, folks, the 10th hole. We begin this seaside stretch on the 10th, a long and challenging par four that runs parallel to the coastline, offering breathtaking views of the Pacific. 10th hole is 434 yards, and it's the sixth handicap hole. But here's the thing. It's the first hole in breaking pebble. So you better believe your fingers are going to fall off when you swing that club. You got bunkers on the left, ocean on the right. The hole goes up, it goes down, it goes around. Good luck <laughs> aiming at the green. All right, Justin Chastain here. Got the big dog. He's aiming left. Perfect. And it's going left. We say perfect. We are dry. We are dry. Yeah. We're somewhere over there, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, Aaron Tuning. Really excited to have him out here today. Where's Brave's shirt to match the uh, location? He's got style. He's got swagger. He's also got. He's got. It seems like that's not, that's his miss. I don't think that's his normal shot. The low left shot. Okay, folks, we're all a little nervous over here. We're all going left. Now I do have the luxury of having played here. B4, and also I just don't even care. I think I was super jet lagged. We had come all the way from Europe here, so I think I'm a bit stoned when I hit this ball. Because that's just like, what even is that? <laughs> I don't even. This is crazy. I mean, I was like, what the? Everyone's like, what the f are you, Eric? <laughs> this is wild. Shit. Yeah. Five iron, seven iron. Yeah, I feel like seven feels good. Let's do seven. You just get lined up at the pin with that wind, bring you back into the fairway. It's a tricky hole to start on, to be honest with you. Oh, shank. Oh, shit. There it is. Let's go. Stop. Oof. Did right. it stop? I don't think it did. All right, so this one, this one's going to be bad. Then after that, I'm going to get my shit together. I think. Aaron's getting a taste of... I don't know whether it's playing on camera for him or whether it's, you know, the whole. The nerves were super high, but we're not in the ocean. So, and we found our ball. So if we find our ball, we can play the ball. That is a great shot coming out of the rough there. Good shot, Justin. Nice out. Had a really nasty lie. Tried to hit a seven iron out of it and we may have dropped in the bunker. So we'll see how this goes, but if not, We'll hit it again anyway. That is the attitude to have, Justin. Very cool. Okay. Very good head on your shoulders. All right. On to Mikey, who's got some card path issues. Wow. I mean, that's just a question mark when you when that club descends into that kind of grass. You just never know. <laughs> I played my 7-iron like it was a 60-degree. Oh, my gosh. All right, Mikey, looking for a little recovery shot here. Just trying to get it back into the fairway. Looking like a good shot. Nice shot, Mikey. I wanted to do the first time. That's a golf shot. 186. Uh, right to the left. Hurt wind. I, I like the full deuce right here. Firm cool. 95, full deuce. You cool. started right at that pin, man, with the wind uh, bringing it back in. Cool. All right, so I somehow figured out how to dial up a draw off of a downhill lie. I think I was just terrified of that going right. That's a scary approach shot, especially when I'm good at hitting a cut. The wind was never going to let that thing go in. I needed one. That was my one donation to the ocean. Now it's time to play. All right, 168. Did you have it going in here-ish? Yeah. Right here? Drop right here. Okay. It's lateral. It gets in your head where you're like, I don't want to mess this up. But then your second thought is, but what if I shoot my best score? There's something irrational in my brain that thought that. All right. I'm glad that's over. You know, there goes that dream. I can feel it, the nerves, like in my arms. Yeah. So my swing thought is like, this is not going to be on plane. <laughs> like, I have no idea what I'm about to hit, you know? That's a, new, that's a new feeling for me. Yeah. It's kind of fun. You just want to be left. <laughs> Man, Justin from downtown. Pitching wedge out of the bunker. Who knows? Oh, no. That could be bad. Oh, 
got to say, I wasn't mad at my shot here. Mikey with the Echoes. Got to say, I love Echo golf shoes. Oh, wow, that's a good out. These greens at Pebble Beach are some of my favorite greens in the world. Maybe the nerves are fading. Oh, thank God. <laughs> it's fun when you hit good shots. It's low-key not awesome when you shank it into the ocean. All right, and a sight that we've all seen before, just men looking for their ball. It's truly, a, it's truly an animalistic game out here. Look at Mikey's legs. He's like in... He's in yoga or like uh, Pilates or something. No luck. Can a puffer double? That wouldn't be the worst start in the world. Not the best. All right. I don't need, I don't need that from you. Okay. Aaron might get in a fight with the crew. That would be that'd be a first. <laughs> That's how we do it in ATL. Aaron, don't let him don't let him get in your head. Here I am hoping for a chip in probably with my mismatched green. Oh, this looks good. Um what if? See the thing is I already obviously know what happened. It was a little weird for me to comment on something that's already happened that I was a part of. It's kind of like, can I bet on this? It would be cool if we could bet on this. He just had the line a little too high, a little too quick. Rather have a round at an iconic golf course where you triple bogey every hole and make one hole in one or where you just bogey every hole and nothing special happens. The first option. Yeah, so think, let's leave that open, right? Yeah, yeah, I think if you get a hole in one, you'll never remember 10, you know? But you just need to get a hole in one. So, you know, you got four chances. Yeah, ace can. Ace can. Yeah, it's in two holes. We're good. Just got back from Korea. We opened up a store there, which was quite an experience. We were in Seoul for a week. So I'm feeling a bit, uh, what's the word, uh, bejazz, bejazz, bedangled, tossed. Nice shot. Look at this. Good ball. That's a great Justin, it's not a false front there, but it's just got to keep, it's just got to get through that. Here's the thing. When you go to Pebble Beach, it's like asking out a 10. You know what I mean? Yeah. There you go. Aaron can ask out a 10. Hey, double bogey. He still got it in the hole. Come on. Nice, dude. Okay. He's going to play. Jeez. <laughs> okay. Look at that line of birds. How do they know to fly in a line? You know? This is like, they just wake up and they're like, "That's this is the way it is. This is the way to do it. Oh, Mikey, just, he, he had it on the high side. That's good. That's where you want it. God, look at that view. Unbelievable golf course. Come on, make this one. There we go. All right, so it looks like we're running the gamut here. Triple, quintuple, double. Oh All right, that's over. The, the first hole's over. All right. <laughs> All right. It felt like an entire round in one hole. It's different playing in front of a camera, talking to it, as opposed to talking into your own head. Yeah, I started bad. I was, I was very nervous. Stand over it and your arms feel like jello. So I just wasn't confident, but up and down for the bunker, for a six, after that start, I'll take it. Still sort on track, I feel good. I mean, we hit a somewhat decent drop-ish. We hit a really good shot out of the bunker, but unfortunately we had to drop. And hit a really good chip and two putt. So that's, I mean, honestly, that's everything I could ask for. <laughs> your, your, golf, your golf experience is not determined by your score. All right, the 11th hole at Pebble Beach. This is where we take a left, folks. We're gonna turn left, we're gonna go up the hill. We've got a kind of a shortish par four that beckons with its narrow fairway flanked by bunkers on both sides. You can't really see much off the tee, so you got really no idea whether it's good or bad until you crest the hill. The green itself is tucked into a serene little enclave surrounded by pygmies. Wait, oh no, sorry, that's a typo. Towering trees. A well-placed shot can offer a genuine birdie opportunity, but be wary of the subtle slopes. Green is kind of like a don't go long, don't go short kind of situation. Riddle me that. Yeah, I'm playing the new Wilson driver here, and I kind of love it. Watch this. Bam! A little overcut, but, uh, you know, who knows? I don't, good news, bad news, right? We don't know. Tuning got the old sim. Love the sim, dude. The sound of the sim. 
the sound of the sim that is exiting the freeway you know it's called breaking pebble beach for a reason <laughs> Justin says, I'm going to hit a cut. And he does. I mean, as much as I like a draw, I kind of like a cut better. I know a draw is better. I know a draw is superior. We all know that a draw is better. But looks like all four of us like cuts. Different cuts for different butts. Uh, we're kind of chill-ish yeah. for now. For now. Like, like I said, we've hit some good shots. It's just we've had some un unfortunate breaks. Yeah. So, but I guess that's just Pebble Beach being Pebble Beach. Nothing like walking up the fairway yeah. and just chatting it up, you know? Yeah, it, uh, at Pebble. the first couple felt it big time. Even now, though, I got it. I don't think about it, and then, like, it slows down. I address the ball. Yeah. It feels a little <laughs> like jello, <laughs> you know? I'm shooting at 122, but we're not going to need that. I think just like a 115, 120 shot. Justin from 122 yards. What a peach. Nice high shot. Look at that. Right below the hole. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Comes to Pebble Beach I think so, man. I think to nice win. Good. What's that, 9 uh, That was a pitching wedge. Nice. It's my first ball. I found it. So, provisional. Didn't even need it. It's just, uh, it was good to get another warm up swing in. You know what I mean? Life hack. Oh, God. All right, so good feeling finding your first ball. Right, it's got 116 in, and it just takes a bit of a. Oh. An, ooh. A hard kick turned into a soft roll into the bunker. Trying to get it out of the rough. Same thing. Looks like. Go in. Yeah, this is one of these Green things where you rush. just kind of want to uh, land it okay. short, I guess. Ball still in play. 71, but uh, flyer lie, helper win. I wouldn't play any more than a 60 yard shot. Okay. And um, try to come in, yeah, a little left of that pin. It's kind of a nerve wracking shot, you know. It's all out there for you. Looks like three's company here. Hard to get spin out of that rough, and then, you know, given it also being downwind, just all it wants to do is go along. Nice shot. Stay. It's a little shot distracting in there. bunker shot. You got the coast of Ireland behind you. Gosh, it's pretty. All right, Mikey just kind of tapping it there. Let it get on its way. Nice shot. Oh, man. And I'm just sitting here thinking, what the? I think I have a worse lie than Mikey here. Yeah, I mean, that's literally the best I can do. I, didn't, I would not have bet on that one. Similar to the last one. Hopefully similar result. Oh, dropping it. Going left, away from the ocean. 20, 25 footer? Make a ball. All right, that's a good bogey there. Everything under control, no lost balls. What a relief, every hole. <laughs> Come back here from Mike. He just needs to kind of move. First birdie putt of the group here on the second hole. Justin, 25 feet away. Let's see. Looking good. Looking good. Ah, oh, man. Just sort of dives down right before the hole. But hey, highest handicap of the group. That is first birdie putt. That is great to see. Good shot, Justin. We got a par, which is something I did not expect. We're in for four, baby. Good par, good par, Justin. Now you may notice this new crazy-looking putter. 
that I love. It's my lab putter. I've been working with lab for uh, the better part of a year. And I just love the tech behind it. I love the people behind it. And I love the way it feels in my hands. A bogey feels like a birdie. F. Yes, a bogey does feel like a birdie. Yes, I'll take I agree. that. Hey y'all, hope you're enjoying Pebble. I know we enjoyed making it. This video is brought to you by Ketone IQ. I'm out here at the Grand Del Mar shooting a video where I live on the golf course until I make a hole in one. And one of the things getting me through that is Ketone IQ. Ketone IQ is brain fuel and it keeps you energized. I'm taking it to get through here because I am living in this tent. And I've been here for two days, so. It's the only thing getting me through. Honestly, it doesn't taste the best, but that's how you know it's working. Look, watch this. Oh, okay, now watch the shot. Ooh. Oh my God, it'd be so mad. No way. Oh. <laughs> you can get 30% off your first Keto and IQ order at hvmn.com slash RGC. The link is in the description, and I'm telling you, the stuff works. If you can get a hole-in-one after drinking a Keto and IQ and get footage of it, I will personally give you a year's supply of Keto and IQ. Our third hole, Pebble's 12th hole. This is a par three, but it's no joke here 202 yards it's got a small green and it's defended by a trio of bunkers got to hit a precise tee shot here and to avoid the sandy hazards and it's also got hardcore wind left to right so if you play a cut it's going to be even bigger than it was that's insane i didn't know they had trailer parks out here on the way here I typically uh, I think I'm hitting a four iron here maybe a five iron and I'm feeling pretty good over this shot but I kind of didn't hit a good shot there that was very wide right you're gonna reload on that yeah that's OB yeah I've been there brother so I'm gonna do that again same club and that is hard to keep that ball left Similar results. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, kind of like easy to do. <laughs> yeah, just get some practice going left, I guess. Mission accomplished. <laughs> I'm here? sorry, dude. I'm sorry. I'm fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> nice shot, Justin. That's looking good. Just a little bit short right, maybe in the bunker there. All right. Bunker? I think so. <laughs> Love it, dude. And Mikey just kind of drilling that to the left side of the green. Maybe too much draw, but looking good. A little short. Yeah, well, uh, two balls off the tee, which is fun. I want to get your money's worth out here, you know? First one, not bad. Leaked a little right. Car path cuts in. Bonk. Thought it'd be fine. But then Pat, the beloved caddy, was like, provisional time. So, hit that one. Made sure to not do that, so it went left. That's what happened. Mikey just got a little short little chip here, kind of off the tight stuff. Pull this off, it's a very fun shot here. Great shot. Look at that. That's just, that's one of those shots where you just feel like you're good at golf, you know? Like you can handle anything. All right, so did not find my first ball, so just kind of uh, dealing with that uh, emotionally as we go into what it's like to lose a ball on a par three. <laughs> Not the funnest. Damn, this guy is salt of the earth guy. I love him. I love his accent too. He's also got some sick clubs. The blue Mizuno wedges. He's a killer, man. <laughs> so Justin with a really good out. 
great shot. And <laughs> heart attack right. type shot right now there. Now we can breathe a little bit, huh? Holy smokes. We're putting, which is great. We got a chance to save par. What if? Hitting four, on the par three. It's never fun, but looks all right. I'm in a good spot here. A little up and down. Up and down for five, I'm calling it. Good shot, Aaron. Great shot, Aaron. Just cozying it up there. Not bad. Ten feet short. Yeah, a bit of a, you know, oh, yeah, bit of a just got to do what you got to do. I mean, golf just gives you those uh, situations, you know, you just. All right. This is about my game right here. <laughs> Took off my long underwear. It's a little steamy. Hot, dude. <laughs> Woo! Backwards hat. Ah, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Throw one Going full Cali out here. <laughs> what a read. What a oh, read. Good roll. Good roll. That's right. Not a lot there. Very good read, Justin. I really want to make this putt, you know what I mean? No, just hammered it. Okay. A big par three. <laughs> What'd you get there? Eight. Good nice, dude. Good par. Good job, nice par. Okay. Back to it. The nerves are gone. Are they? No. <laughs> Six over after three. Gotta gotta make up some strokes. Break 90. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. And if I don't do it, you have to cut this. <laughs> Ball wants to go home. It wants to go home. And all you have to do is, I'm the Uber driver. I gotta bring it back home. All right, so our fourth hole, the 13th hole at Pebble Beach. It's got a really cool chute that you're coming out of the trees there, and it backs up against our first hole that we played, the 10th hole. I like to see this beautiful peninsula, Monterey Bay, and kind of all this beautiful surrounds that we have. Just two bunkers, front right, front left, and pin is back left today. So, you know, again, that wind is going to be coming hard off the left, so if you're playing a cut, it's going to be even bigger than it was. That emotional experience of excitement is exactly the same as anxiety. And so that's not what we're afraid of or what we don't want to do. That feeling in your stomach at that moment, if it's anxiety, all that needs to be removed is the doubt for it to become excitement. Mikey hit a bad shot. That was a miss. That was just, who knows. But looks like he's going to play it, which got to love that, you know? Got to love the uh, just, just f***ing play it, you know? Justin probably starting this up the left side here. Just a bit of an easy cut there. Look at this guy. Just steady Freddy. Got to love that shot, Tracer. It's a sky blue. It's gotta be. This is a game changer. It is? It's Carolina blue. <laughs> so it's definitely a game changer. Carolina blue. <laughs> Just a low burn. That's going to roll out for a minute there. Nice shot, Aaron. Could be the long drive. Whoa. Oh, really playing that wind, huh? Yeah, I thought I was going to hit the tree. So we both hit OB, 
balls on 12? Like, mm -hmm. if if we were just playing, like, wouldn't wouldn't we just like drop kind of? Yeah. Like, I like would. a hazard everywhere. Yeah, you're not yeah, gonna go just... back to the tee, re tee. Yeah. Yeah, like what's that? Yeah, it's not fun. No, I'm just <laughs> dropping, and I'm like, let's continue having fun instead of like, you know, punishing myself with the pencil. Yeah, let's suffer on uh, on YouTube in front of a lot of people. <laughs> That's fun. It's wood chips, so it can go any way. And it's also downhill lie. I'm hoping that I can maybe just punch out a nine iron, just get it out into play. What an out, Mikey. Thanks. I still haven't lost a ball. Thank you, F, for finding that. All right, baby, let's make some birdies, dude. Let's let's bounce back in an aggressive way, you know? Yeah. We're having fun. Right? Yeah, dude, this is fun. This is exactly what we're, this is. You got an eight on a par three, but don't think about that? We're yeah. past it. Don't yeah, even no, think that it, it happened. It's fine. You get to race two little parts of the eight, and it becomes a three, you know? <laughs> These houses. Oh, it's just, I don't know what direction to look. I'm fascinated. <laughs> I got a pitching wedge, just my 140, 145 club. I got like 132-ish to the pin. It's a mine grenade. I guess I'll say like, I gotta start it left, which is bunker, and just trust that it's gonna drift over, which it will, but mentally it's a mine grenade. 169 on the way from Justin. Looking good, come on, get up. Looks like it's just short of the green there. That'll work. Big chip putt from there, huh? Yeah. Nice ball from Aaron. That should be pretty close, yeah? And we're all just ending up a little short here. I just kind of played it like a bunker shot accidentally the windiest you've ever seen it out here? Uh, probably somewhere around 40. I didn't get an actual number on it, but it's pretty bad. Seven, sometimes it's, you know, a 50 degree, and sometimes it's a three wood. You know, <laughs> there's some variance. Jeez. Mm, just stub that, wow. A little bit of cut spin. Let's make some putts. This is a double par, but the good kind. Double, the good, the hey, good double par. Yeah, this is oh, the, wrong green. the wind, the, the wind. Is like... That's pretty brutal. Yeah. yeah. Been a lot of wind in Atlanta. Get in here. <laughs> Get. Go go go. Alright, that's okay. A little ode to my golfing partner Samir. He's a, this is the magic eight. So uh, yeah, a little bump and run. Try to get it up there. So what happens when you play in Scotland? You gotta be creative. God, look at this beautiful, beautiful postcard that we're getting to stand in here with the mountains of Monterey in the background and the Pacific Ocean just lapping up. Good chip, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We're on the green. <laughs> well, that'll work. I'm gonna think about it. I just wanna, so I wanna pull the pin and yeah. Want to finish now? Yeah, I'll, fin I'll finish it real quick. <laughs> All right. Good par, right? Yeah. There we go. Good par. Good, good par. Good, yeah. good. We're back. Nice We're back, baby. Par. This course is living in your head rent free, ain't it? Uh, the first three holes were, but now I'm Gucci, dude. It's a 
just doesn't feel that quick, does it? Just, just a bit out of calibration today. Yeah, that's where the caddy would say, oh, everything breaks towards the ocean. So Justin with a tap in. Oh man, that is not what we wanted there. Ah man, you just you get a little cocky on short putts like that, and that's unfortunate. But whatever, we move on. We move on. We fight on. We putt on. That's that putt was probably the worst shot of the day, unfortunately. A one foot putt. All right, so on to the 14th hole, an iconic par five that stands as maybe one of the most challenging holes on the course. Uh, it bends left to right, you got some bunkers in the landing area there, and then you're not done yet. You've got a long way to go to an uphill green that is rather tiny. In the 2019 US Open, this hole played over par, which is kind of insane given that it's a par five, and the green itself could be one of the most challenging on the course. The goal is to get that third shot to be as short as possible. Yo, thank you for watching Breaking Pebble. My name's Eric, founder of Random Golf Club. We started off as a video company, but then we started making hats. And now we actually make these awesome polos. But what's really cool about the video you're watching is that Mikey and Justin are both members of Random Golf Club. For me, membership is the thing that I've been driving towards for all these years. We've created a personalized experience of belonging to golf through Random Golf Club. You can join Random Golf Club right now. Our app is linked to the description below or in a QR square, maybe right here. In the app, it's really cool because it's there's no algorithm, there's no ads. It's basically just a space for you to get with other golfers and ideally go play golf. You can use it when you travel. It's location-based, course recommendations. There's buy, sell, trade. I think we started a movie recs page recently. Sign up for the app, get a bag tag, join us. Because I really believe together, we can actually do something here to leave golf better than we found it for the next generation. Sorry for the long interlude from Austin, Texas. Back to Pebble Beach. 14th hole. This is a par five. Par five, number one handicap right here. Boop! Number one handicap. Log legs to the right. Yeah, look at that tee shot, man. This just looks like history here. Wow. Yeah. Good rip. Nice ball. Not much, is that right? That's a good job, man. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that went hard left. Yeah, it makes the hole a little longer. It should be okay there for Justin. Just gonna need to look for that. Or T shot was pretty good. I think. Knock on wood. I think I'm settling down a little bit. I don't feel. I don't have nervy noodle arms standing over the ball every time. Uh, yeah, just got a par, so I think that'll that'll help things. I think we're left side. We got a good look at it. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, just look at it. That is unbelievable. Where does one pee around here? I don't want uh, to, you know, expose myself to <laughs> Bill Gates. I have a golfer, Czech tattooed, a little uh, ginger redhead named Moira. Everything on my left side's feminine pieces, everything on my left, right side's more masculine, so just kind of like a yin-yang type of balance. Uh, but yeah, no more tattoos. The money goes to golf now. Plus, tattoos now, at my age, they hurt. So, I'm happy spending money on the golf course. All right, so Mikey driving iron here from 290. Nice shot. Should be in the short stuff up there. Nice little short shot onto the green. 
350 from here, so whatever you want for that third shot. Cool. Yep, start it down that left side, let that wind bring it in a little bit, huh? I, yep. I as well am using my driving iron here, three iron. This club's pretty reliable for me. I didn't strike that very pure. It's so funny to play it starting on 10. It's like so, it's so different. It's like starting a book in the middle. Except it still makes sense. It's just sort of, you know, harder to understand. Oh, f you in the bunker. That's, that's a bad break. I got a swing though. It's fine. You should pick it. Nice out. That was all ball. Wow. All right. That was awesome. I'm not feeling the nervous arms anymore when I stand over. That was well executed. Thanks. That was one of the hardest shots in golf. I didn't expect to be in the fairway, but then again, I couldn't see anywhere. How aggressive do you feel? What's in your bones? I mean, it's Pebble Beach, right? We gotta go. For it. it is yeah, indeed. We gotta go. For it. Three iron, three wood. Let's go with three wood. Well, okay. Let's just go all the way. If we're going in, we gotta go all the let's way. Let's go. Let's do it. You like it, I love it. Mm. Oh no. That house is a bunch. That might be all the way in that guy's yard. Ah. But look, I like Could've I like better. the energy. Could have been worse. Yeah, what happened there is we got a little big headed again. But again, it's Pebble Beach. You gotta go for it. I mean, there's no sense in, in laying up whenever you can just hit as far as you can. Oh well, that happens. We'll just try to scramble around to get something else going here. You know how many times I've yeah, seen that hole on video games? Right That's like if I saw Master Chief in real life. <laughs> Shocking. God. Wait, was that you that played the Halo theme song this morning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're trying to get hyped and you know, we played the Halo theme song in the house. <laughs> It was, yeah, Kickstart My Heart, Molly Crew, and then the Halo theme song. All right, stay, stay up. Don't go. Bunker. Hey, boss, you mind if we look for the ball real quick? No, go ahead. Appreciate it. Y'all having fun? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so after a drop, Justin's got a shot here from 115. Parsi? Are laying for you? Yeah. Maybe. What yeah. if? It's possible, hey. right? I don't lose faith till the next stroke, <laughs> boss. Good up. Man, nice. just hard to get the right landing angle with such a high hey, green. You can't be flying the ball down like that. These tiny greens. It's got to go high, land soft. Oh, did you fly it? I think I landed on it, but it was just always going to go an extra 20 yards. Yeah, just, you know, it's funny. A big difference between uh, amateurs and pros is how the ball lands, you know? Just, uh, oh, man, I'm having a day here. Play? You gonna hit one celebrity shot? <laughs> I feel I feel like a bachelor contestant when they get eliminated, and I want to be like, don't film this part. This is a secret. God, dude! After a par. More chipping going on here. As you can see, a lot of chipping at Pebble. It has the smallest greens on tour. Uh, which kind of speaks to its age and its heritage, but uh, a lot of chipping around Pebble because the greens, because they're so small, hard to hit them. Easy to miss them, rather. All right, get a putt for bogey. How dare you. Justin kind of trying to climb the hill. 
Hard to get the grain there. Uh, my seventh shot of this par five. Whoa, just a tad hard. In. Wow, great putt. Nice putt. Just, right. just got the clutch Holy shots. Fuck. If you hadn't lost well, that, that ball, it would have been... That made uh, up for the last putt, right? <laughs> obviously a lower score. Wow, okay. Hmm. Mikey must have some uh, slower greens at home because he is pounding it on the green. Get it. Three putts. Definitely. And now on to the final hole from this episode. It's the 15th hole of the course, our sixth hole. It's one of my favorite holes at uh, Pebble. It's kind of not super long, 392. It's pretty tight. A lot of people hit, um, you know, less than driver. And a lot of bunkers on the fairway. Yeah, it's just an exciting hole because you're kind of like, in the trees amongst it there. It's got a pretty small green where you're looking down on it. Finally, this is the first green that we've really like looked down on. It should have a pretty short iron into the green. I guess we're all hitting drivers here, let's go. So, Mikey on the tee. Beautiful tee shot here. Looks like it gets all the way through that one. Now, I'm on like 10 over through two holes. So, here I think I'm just like, okay, well, it's just whatever. Who cares anymore? It kind of works out, you know? Just, I guess if you just stop caring, you can swing freely. Nice little power fade there up the left side. Should be back into the fairway. And it's kind of that thing where when you stop caring, you can just swing more freely. You see that a lot in Justin's game. And he just has this great carefree attitude. So I'm I'm 11 over. No, I'm, I'm 13. No, I'm 12 over. No, 12. I'm 12 over through five. You know what's that, harder than golf? What? Math. Math. math Simple sucks. math. Just an out of this. Pretty thick rough here. You don't play the number. Is what I <sighs> you don't play the number. Don't play the number? You don't play the number. Pat just told me to play the number. I'm getting, he's your caddy. I'm getting mixed messages he's here. Ca he's your caddy. I'm freaking out. Another fairway bunker right here. For Aaron, that's just that's just bunker bunker. Bunker, yeah. All right, man, we'll get you up and down. 62, we'll be fine. The West Coast, there's no hanging on the beach. It's a good line, you hear that? He's playing great. He's playing very good. Mikey, from the bunker. Whoa, a little thin. Gets out though. Nice shot. Goal is to get out. This is interesting, right? Right in the middle of the fairway. And then just go. Look at the guy. Jesus. Just. Wow, my mouth's dry.
What are you thinking, man? 60? Um, sure. Thanks. Yeah. Pretty quick, so go right to left. Oh, yeah. All right, now my worst chip of the day. So I can do something with that. I feel like that should be a new rule. Like, why are we playing plug lies? It's Freaking A. Balls aren't supposed to plug in the bunker. Look at that. That's right, man. Sand, man. Oh man, it's the one that you really needed to hit hard, Mikey. It's pretty sloping right, green here. Early. Good read. Good play. This is for bogey. Great shot. First two shots in the sand, second one being plugged. I would take a bogey. All right, 22 feet for bogey. Not even a chance. <laughs> oh, man. I am just all out of it today. But I will say, I remember some other holes on this round, some very good ones. Upcoming, actually, in the second episode, we got some great golf to be played. So all is not lost for us. Here, out here to break pebble or, or get some of some of us are getting broken right now. That's for damn sure. Man. Yeah. I just want to make this putt, you know. Man. Just all out of whack, you know? You know the feeling. You know the feeling. I, th I think you know the feeling. All right, winding this episode down. Can Justin take one off the card? Man, that was close. There you go. No. Break the putter. I'm not going to break the putter. <laughs> All right, so that brings us down to the end of the first episode. Uh, six holes in the can from Pebble Beach, breaking Pebble. We've got Aaron at plus 10 in the lead, Justin at plus 11, Mikey at plus 12, and myself at plus 14. Anything's possible, although probably not some of these goals. <laughs> Tune in tomorrow for the next installment of Breaking Pebble right here on the Random Golf Club Films YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.